application remoting in general is the delivery of Windows desktops and applications down to non-Windows tablets. Now, no matter how good your graphics protocol, it, accessing those point-and-click interfaces can sometimes be a challenge on a gesture-oriented tablet. In fact, for me, sometimes it feels like I'm navigating the web on an edge of sketch. That's just me. So, VMware's been working hard on these challenges, and we've developed some advanced development technology we're calling User Interface Virtualization, also known as Project AppShift. This technology transparently transforms key elements of the Windows desktop and application interface to produce a rich, tablet-friendly UI. Let's take a look at some of the capabilities. <clears throat> so, one of the main things we do each day is launch documents and applications. Rather than fumble with the start menu, we've transformed uh, key elements that users interact with into a swipeable native tablet UI, such things as recent documents, content of the desktop, and the traditional application start menu. All swipeable, all native. Another tedious task on tablets is switching between running apps. Here we've transformed this activity into an easy album cover flow style of navigation, complete with live thumbnails, and easy to navigate task tray in the lower right corner. This is just makes navigation so much easier, Steve. Another uh, challenging aspect uh, that we have to face on tablets when using remote Windows apps is the uh, experience of, of selecting text and other, and other clipboard activities. We've been able to use the UI virtualization techniques to replicate a native text selection experience, giving you a much more intuitive look and feel. You can see here that you actually can use large tablet-side widgets. We're even able to demonstrate the transfer of clipboard content from a remote Windows application down to a tablet-side clipboard and even able to be entered into a local tablet-side application, here in this case Evernote. So you're seeing the contents of the Windows clipboard copied and placed into the tablet-side application. That's fantastic. So hopefully this exciting sneak peek has given you all an idea of how Windows desktops and applications can be much more intuitively represented on tablets. And this is just the beginning of what's possible with, with the user interface virtualization techniques. Very cool. Yeah, thanks for showing us that.